my whole career is around trying to protect information, financial firms, preventing fraud and crime. I don't give out my social security number. That information is typically used more as an index, as a unique identifier for you. You know, there is clearly some value um, in having a clean identifier, but maybe it shouldn't be the same identifier that's also used to, to take out car loans and, and, and basically be the, the cornerstone of your online identity. The IT department within the typical American enterprise is, is fundamentally changing. Um, it's changing in terms of the people that it has working internally, it's changing in terms of the technologies and the use of third parties, and even in terms of just the set of services that technology now delivers. And that means that as, as somebody who's charged with managing those risks, not only are the threats changing, but the nature of what you're protecting is changing too. I think back, and we used to worry so much about um, remote access, we worried about our own employees, we worried about the use of uh, you know, home computers to come in. Now, of course, you know, people talk about worrying about nation states, they worry about people targeting and stealing intellectual property, uh, gaining competitive advantage by you know, grabbing your secrets. The advent of cloud computing, um, the use of third parties to do a lot of your transactions, to host a lot of your data, means that you are no longer necessarily the custodian and direct controller of the information. And so now the question becomes, what do you have to do to ensure that those that you do business with are also protecting the, the data uh, and, you, and your assets? So I think that the move to cloud is, is one area. I think secondly, the move to mobile devices ha has dramatically shifted uh, the landscape in terms of where the threats and the potential attacks come from. Mm -hmm.